All right, here it is. This is the Go Cube. Um, I backed this project a little over a year ago. Let's dig into it. Charging. So this is the GoCube Edge. This is the faster version. Um, it's supposed to come with a stand and charger, uh, as well as be a bit, a bit more versatile than the standard version, just as far as turning goes. It's really small and lightweight as well. So let's get into this thing. There we go. Literally can't wait. The anticipation's been absolutely killing me. And look at that. So actually, I'm number 4,561. All right. So that is the cube right there. It is small. Holy crap. Wow, that is tiny. I'll show you in comparison to some other cubes. But in here, we've got a charging cable. Hmm rather smooth around the edges. It is very magnetic-y, if that's a word. Um, I've been curious on how this connects. It just kind of slides right in. And it's pretty secure too. Oh, geez, no it's not, just kidding. So it looks like it's got these uh, contact points that just poke right in and charge it. I would imagine that takes quite some time to charge, but I could be wrong. It is on there. Um, there's no magnetic, it's just kind of gripping on the plastic. Oh, actually, you know, it does feel a little magnetic. Hmm. Um, so let's give it a few turns here. Very smooth, I will say. The mag magnets make it very accurate when you're turning. Uh, overturns seem to just kind of click into place. See how it kind of bounces there? Um, it's very nice. I actually really like that a lot. Yeah, I could see I could see getting into this uh, quite a bit. There you go. Oh, I actually am unsure on how to turn it on at all. But I did notice um, I launched the app on here. It does actually pick it up, even though it doesn't look like the cube is on. Like there's no on button. So I'm just gonna hit connect and see what happens. Oh, okay. Uh... Oh, look at that. Wow. It just lit up. Whoa! What in God's name? That is so weird. So what orientation is that? That is really strange. Oh, okay. So this is the, uh, this is the orientation. So I noticed right away it wasn't quite right. So this is, uh, to sync the display. It's at 88%. Wow. Whoa. Okay. There we go. That does work, yes. That is the correct orientation. This is really weird. <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm a pro cuber even though I'm not. I just kinda wanna do a quick time. Oh, that is so weird, man. So it looks like you gotta calibrate the, um, I think that's back. Yeah, that's back. Oh gosh, D2, F, okay, so this is the review time, plotting out my first few moves, and Okay, wow. So that was a terrible solve. Not usually my normal time, but I think that's due in part. The yellow is really, maybe it's just the lighting, but the yellow is really kind of faded and it confuses me with the white a little bit. 
but that's obviously just because it's a new color scheme. Um, I'm used to solving this guy here. And actually in comparison with it rounded, it's about the same size. Um, you know, the colors are obviously more vibrant on this one um, to your right here, but I like it a lot. It's actually, it's pretty smooth. Um, this is a Ganzair in comparison. It's a lot bigger than the Ganzair. I know on camera it doesn't really seem like it, but um, just in, in your hands it is. This is an original Rubik's Cube if you're really, really new. You still have one of these guys. It's a lot smaller uh, in your hands, but I really like it. Um, let's see. You can do solver, which I think is just, it tells you how to solve it, which is really cool. Um, matches, okay, so you can do a solo match, you can challenge people. I'm not sure what Procuber is yet. Um, I'm sure they've got more on their webpage, but uh, it did drop from 88% to 43, which is kind of weird. And I think you can sync your cube with this button here anytime you want. Um, but really great. Uh, wow, I'm pretty impressed, actually. Um, I really like the design. The magnets are really strong. The colors I'm not a huge fan of, but you can't change that. I can't imagine you'd sticker this at all. I do want to see it lit up, though. I think... Can we do that? Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. That is so much better. Look at that. That is so cool. So I imagine the light kind of strains the battery a bit. Um, but you know what? I do have a bunch of cubes that I like to solve and at night with a, like a yellow light, it's impossible. I think with this light, it's not that bright, but you can still see the colors. This would be great to solve at night. Um, wow. Really cool. Awesome job. I highly recommend it.